Hello everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna, and today we have a lot of work to do. We're going to be making a cementation furnace. We'll need to make ourselves some refractory bricks. And then we can start converting some iron bars into steel. Now there is a little something funky with the uh, primitive survival mod is uh, you can put pelts on the ground and it'll give you some uh, rugs. I, I guess that this one turned automatically into a bear rug. Uh, yeah, in the, you can put them on the wall as well. You can have yourself some uh, little bear heads or hog heads or I don't know, even hyenas that I have not yet encountered in this game. A medium temporal storm is approaching. Really? Oh my god. Uh, maybe we can kind of uh, sleep through it. That is funky. This thing has been running for a couple of days and uh, it still says zero uh, as rift blocked. So I did make myself some more fire clay brick because I want to start some more iron blooms. So maybe I can set this up before the temporal storm begins. Oh, come on, don't do that. Ugh. Don't need started the stream. I don't need you bugging me. Okay, apparently, even if we... Oh, God, I broke my bow and arrow. Uh, that's okay. I did go ahead and make myself a few more. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is a couple of little resources so I can... Uh, finish the rest. Uh, while I'm down here, I think I'm gonna grab all the hematite that I can. Now, while I know that the, uh, whoa, wow, that was pretty good. Yeah, that thing, uh, can block some temporal rifts from appearing. It doesn't give me any range or anything of the sort. So let's get rid of these, uh, remaining brutes, and after that, let's, uh, start our hematite. And we are on a very high rift activity. Boo. So let's go ahead and put the nuggets in there. Let's add the charcoal. And let's light these all up. All right. So, uh, yeah, just ignore the corpses. Uh, there were a lot more that came and I killed them off camera. Now let's put the rest of this hematite. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more. That's okay, we're gonna need a lot for the uh, steel. Now to make the refractory bricks, we're gonna need a lot of crushed bauxite, a lot of crushed olivine, a lot of crushed quartz, and a lot of fire clay, which I've gone and collected in between episodes. I've already gone and uh, made myself a lot of more crushed quartz and some crushed olivine. Now, as you can see, I kind of changed my setup a little bit. Let me just remove that so it can stop spinning. And let's slap some more bauxite in here. Three stacks should be good for now. And there you go. Now, everything that is being done is falling down here. And uh, yeah, it's having the time of its life. Let's just leave it at it. I'm gonna put away the rest of the stuff in the meantime, and I'm gonna try and uh, sleep through this temporal storm. I don't wanna have to relive it again. So before we actually hit the sack, I am gonna make myself a little bit of food upstairs. I believe we do have a little bit of time before the storm approaches. A little bit of wood in there, and we'll have ourselves some meals for the episode. So let's just let this simmer. Now, it kind of sucks that I'm going to have to go to bed during the frickin' daytime. Now that we have some light, there's a rift over there. Yeah, I guess that the uh, rift ward does not have that much of a range. With one hour, 30 minutes left to the storm, I think it is safe to say that I'm going to bed. I'm going to have some nightmares, I'm pretty sure of it. But better asleep than awake. So, night night, everyone. And I wake up at the storm. Can't I? Couldn't I skip it? Oh my god! Ooh, that, that is a big that is a big cog. That is really freaking close. I think it's even going inside of my windmill. Oh god! Well, since I can't sleep through it, I might as well get some work done. Although it might be a little bit. Uh, 
annoying with the whole rift activity going on. So I think I showed you this last time. This is going to be the room. Oh, God, they're spawning in here. I'm never going to get any work done with these guys lurking around. Well, let's try anywho, shall we? I'm going to block the entrance so nothing can come from the outside. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, that was intense. I was getting a little dizzy from all of this uh, wavering and stuff. Oof. So, uh, yeah, I I'm still not done digging. I've made a lot of progress, though. Uh, let's just finish clearing out this little area, and then we can proceed to other important things. Okay, so the way that I want it, uh, of course, over here, I want to have my Coke ovens on uh, this side. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to put some walls there. And over here is where I'm going to have my furnaces. Now, this is going to have to go in even deeper. I'm going to have my stairs going down. I'm going to have one oven here and possibly another one next to it. And by the looks of it, uh, yeah, I, I think the chimneys should come out in front of the base. About where I put my uh, bloomeries. So let's go and see if there's uh, still some remaining uh, drifters roaming about my base. I don't think there should be any. Anybody in here? No? Still clear? What about in here? I can hear some growling. Uh, no? Yeah? Alcohol chamber? No? So I, I think it's pretty clear. Although I do hear some growling, I think it might be actually upstairs. Okay. By the sounds of it, whatever there is remaining is outside, and of course, it's uh, it's night again. Well, let's close the door. Today is going to be a little bit more of an indoor episode. So, of course, uh, I end up with way too much granite stone. And I got a couple of granite rocks over here that I can eventually polish. So, first things first, let's, uh, let's stop this thing. Totally went through the box site as if it was nothing. And let's grab the other components that we need. And four stacks of these. I think I'm going to need a lot more than that. So the best that I can do right now is a uh, refractory bricks tier two. For tier three, I would also need some ilmenite, which I do not have. Ilmenite is technically titanium, and I don't have any. So let's go ahead and put everything in place. Got 64 bricks over here. So I managed to make myself four stacks so far. And that will require a lot of holes in the ground and a lot of uh, dry grass as well in sticks. Let's grab ourselves our shears. And I believe I might need a little bit more fire clay for the job. Let's grab some peat and let's go ahead and uh, clear out whatever there might still be lurking around outside. You know, for a uh, Rift Ward, you're not blocking a whole lot, I gotta say. There's still a lot of uh, drifters roaming about. Maybe they're just some uh, remainders of the uh, Temporal Storm. Anywho, let's just get rid of them once and for all. Now, oh, there's still some more over here. Yeah, you guys are a little bit more threatening looking with your huge size and might as well get rid of the orc well sadly we still have a very high rift activity and it is night so these bastards are still going to come out but you know what I, I've just killed a dozen and skinned them and they just keep coming so you know what because of this uh, event I I'm just gonna go and sleep again this is uh, sleeping with Rakuna have fun all right, rise and shine, it's morning, and I can still hear some lurking about, but morning is uh, afoot. So during the day, these guys should not be 
coming and bugging me. We'll have a little bit of peace and quiet while I work. I said we'll have peace and quiet while I work. Are you, you freaking done? Thank you. I can see that all the iron blooms are ready. So let's start putting down some refractory bricks. So it's going to be 12 per hole. Well, these are all filled, but I think I'm going to dig some more holes. Yeah. And don't worry, I'll make sure there's no grass around. And th this is it. That's a that's a lot of holes. Well, let's start giving it some grass. Well, that took a freaking huge amount of everything. A uh, huge amount of everything, I say. Ah, uh, I just want to make a uh, protection so the rain does not uh, appear and kind of ruin my plans. And there we go. Now let's uh, kind of make it float in the air, right? Now when it comes to lighting this, I think we're going to go from the... Uh, yeah, this and we're going to move our way back slowly as to not burn ourselves. And there you go. Now we got ourselves a nice, glorious fire, which could become all sorts of problem if we're not careful. I don't like you, Grass. Get, get out of there. You too. But generally speaking, everything seems to be in order. There's no grass around it, but let's take a few more precautions. Yeah, I did dig up a lot of granite stones earlier, so uh, might as well just uh, put it down all around as a safety precaution. There you go. I think now it is relatively safe. We can proceed with the uh, other things we have to do. Like, uh, yeah, take care of this bloomery. Yeah, we got a few fire clay bricks back, and we got 48 iron blooms that we'll have to smash into bars a little later. And while we're having a fire out here, I might as well go ahead and shoot the rest of my uh, hematite inside of these bloomeries. And will you look at that, just as fast as they came, night arises again. Ah, the joys of winter. Now, of course, yes, of course, I know it's a very high activity again. Now, these guys are lit up. That is lit up. The world is on frickin' fire. And uh, because of that, I'm going to go to bed. I'm, I'm going to bed again. Night-night with Rakuna while everything just burns up. Well, rise and shine at 3 a.m. in the morning. I see that everything's still on fire, and we got more than enough drifters outside just uh, lurking about. You know what? They can stay outside. I have more work to do on the inside, though. First of all, it's time to take ourselves a little hearthy meal. And hopefully morning will come sooner rather than later. Let's grab this uh, cooking pot with us along for the work. So if you look in the survival handbook, it says that we're going to need an iron door and two stone coughing sections and two stone coughing lids. So we're going to start with the stone coffin sections and the lids. And I did pick up some whole granite rock. So yeah, let's do this. Let's grab our chisels. And I believe the borax might still be over in our main smithy room. Yes, there you are. I was looking in my main box. I couldn't find any. I was getting slightly worried. And let's bring back the lime while we're at it. Now, for our purposes, we're only going to need two borax for the lid, which we're going to place our tools in this formation. One, two, 
and one, two. So we have our coffin lids and let's make our coffin sections. There you go. And while we're at it, we're going to need the iron door, which is going to require a few iron plates. So let's put our hammer and chisel away. Let's grab 12 of these iron bars. And since we have a strong breeze outside, I think it should be quite easy to make the iron plates. Let's slap a little bit of coal in there. Let's light these up. And all we got to do is wait. Hey, couldn't you go bugging somebody else? Uh, you guys are just going to be there growling the whole time, aren't you? It is crazy the amount of activity going on out there constantly today. So although I don't want to, we have to do it. Yeah. It has to be heard. We're going to have to endure this for a few minutes only. All right, let's get started. Please knock me on the head. Please knock me on the head. Maybe the sound will be dulled a bit. All right, mission accomplished. Let's put this back over here. Now, of course, we could make the door while it's still really hot. But of course, yeah, we want our ear candy, don't we? We all want it. Ah, so very satisfying. So with that, let's make our iron door. Now, it's very quiet. Not only do I not hear the annoying sounds and screeches of the drifters, but everything outside has gone extremely quiet. I think that all of my bricks are ready. Let's go ahead and pick these up. Now, why are you, why are you picking up the stones? And it's all good. And while we're at it, might as well pick these things up. And we have another 30 iron blue. That'll give me uh, quite a bit of iron. Yeah, approximately 78 iron bars. Ooh, that's going to make us a lot of steel. Now let's put away these fire clay bricks for now. And let's just stick to the refractory bricks. Now I did make sure to prepare a lot of mortar for the occasion. Now we'll need six brick gratings. So let's go ahead and make that. Boom, there they are. Now let's go ahead and put down our coffin section so we know exactly how much space we'll need. So first things first, let's place our brick gratings and on top, we're gonna put our stone coffin. And there you go, we do have our little formation. Uh, of course, we're gonna have to make a little bit more room over here. Yeah, to be able to shift right click and see the outline, I had to remove my, uh, my storage vessel. So at least this gives me a little bit of room on the back so I can put the coal in to uh, light the little sucker up. So let's go ahead and uh, expand the room immediately. Oh my. I guess this uh, comes out to where my garden is? Oh shoot, it does. Oh crap. That's okay, we'll make it work. I just need to put a little bit of uh, dirt over here. That way I can work at least on the outside. So I believe that might mean that uh, a second one might be out of the question. <laughs> there is just not enough room. Unless, unless my plans kind of change and I do the same thing on the other side. But again, yeah, we're pretty close to the edge here. I'm sure we can figure something out. And there you go, the area is cleared out. All I need is one little pathway here so I can reach the back. And if I shift right click again, there you go. Now the area is all clear and I got the room that I need to put in my blocks. Well, time to make a little bit of room in the chests again. Ugh. And now let's make ourselves our bricks. 
And that gives me about 58. If I'm not mistaken, we might be missing a few. There you go, 60 bricks. So let's go start in placing them. Gonna have to improvise for some of these parts. Kinda expect it to start floating in the air, like there's not gravity or anything. And there you go. I, I think it's complete. I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna go through on the inside as well. I thought it said that we needed like more bricks than that. And I know over here needs uh, requires the door. Is that, is that good? I am not exactly sure. I think it requires a brick here. Another one there. Nope. They are not, uh, yeah, they're not like kind of white. So I think the way I placed it is okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to close this off and kind of work the room a little bit. Let's have ourselves a little snack. So aside from that, I know that I'm going to have to dig a little area to go down here. Right smack in the middle, underneath the uh, coffin. Yeah, let's uh, open this up. Maybe I'll put some nicer bricks down here. Something a little neater. I'm going to have to put stairs. So I had to take a little bit of moment during the night because I wanted to uh, cut some more trees down and get some more firewood for making more coal because I am running slightly low. And at the same time, with the glue, I did manage to get one of these glowy lights, which I put inside of the windmill. And I think it looks majestic. I would need another one to put at the lower levels, but uh, eventually I'll find one. And I I'm just noticing how it's still missing some sails. Uh, a uh, job for another day. So I'm almost done uh, cramming this room with the wood. But well, don't worry, I will make short work of that. And there we go. We got our charcoal pit. It is ready. Let's light it up. And let's close that off. And we should have new coal in no time. Now, for this little puppy, I do have some normal fire clay bricks here that we can stick in there. Let's put some polished chert on the bottom. And let's fill the rest up with some fire clay brick over here. There you go. The same thing on the sides here, I suppose. As for the stairs, I got these blocks and right underneath here let's put these fellas over here great now, I've seen some people do it and I think that it would work that we could eventually put an uh, a coke oven door here uh, iron one first of all let's put chert rocks over here what I think I'm gonna put in it is uh, some sort of a fence here as well so we can't approach it too much and we're gonna have to rework the walls here put some more stairs over here to go up and we're gonna put some more uh, bricks here on the wall make it look nice and pretty slap a couple of these uh, little age polish chert like we did in the other room and the floor here should all be replaced I totally forgot I had these types of blocks as well maybe I'm gonna have to go and uh, collect some more in the future uh, yeah, jump. <laughs> Gonna replace these four blocks as well. And there you go. As for the floor here, I'm gonna finish the surrounding with this. Or maybe I could just do the whole contour of the room with this texture. And I can fill in the inside with uh, different type of blocks. There you go. I think that looks okay. 
Now I'm going to have to make a, a wall here that goes all the way over here because I didn't want to have these textures inside and I'm going to have to undo this eventually. Anyways, this is where uh, my Coke ovens will be. One over here. Yeah, one like this. And one over here. Yeah, two cock ovens. So at the bottom over here. Now, I, I didn't want to put you like this. I'll just set these. Oh, my God. I'm slightly annoyed. Ugh. For some reason, this one just doesn't want to stick. All right, you know what? You know what? There you go. Try and place yourself wrong this way. Ha! Ah, I won. So that way we have uh, easy access to our oven. Let's uh, remove these blocks over here and we'll add in some more polis chert around the base here. There you go. I think that looks pretty dope. Well, I was thinking of, of obviously we're gonna have to close this off, but maybe I could put like a little window or something, have a nice view of the outside. You know, just let a little bit of sunshine in and face it with a grin. Let's not omit any details here. I think we're simply going to go all the way around. Oof, yeah. <laughs> Got some dirt over here. Let's uh, finish this off. And right over here, I think I can fill this off with the uh, rest of the church cobblestone. Yep, yeah, I'm starting to like the looks of this. And one last thing is, how high does this go? I'm just gonna dig the hole right over here. And I make my chimney stick out on top. And if I could get one of these uh, other uh, chimney that uh, kind of produces infinite smoke, I don't think I'll put one in. Yeah, let's put some of the uh, normal fire clay bricks in there. And uh, before we close this off, let's uh, dig that. And if I look outside, where is that coming out? It's coming out right over here in my uh, <laughs> my pit kills. Well, that's that's fine. Anyways, I'm gonna destroy that. Maybe I'm gonna have myself an inside pit kill from now on. So let's uh, block these little holes up. We'll pick up the stones as well, and there'll be grass growing over here. Yeah, we want to dig the hole over here and make this kind of stick out. There you go. And this is where the chimney is coming out. And like I said, maybe we'll have ourselves some nice smoke coming out. What the hell? Oh, hunger. I have not been paying attention here. Yep, yeah, eat up, buddy. But guys, I believe that is all for today. Uh, we're going to have to wait for the coal to get ready, and then we'll be able to make our first batch of steel. Yes, finally that glorious moment will come to pass, and we'll have ourselves all sorts of steel tools, and steel weapons, and steel armors. We will be unstoppable. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button. I'll see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.